In this video, we will show you how to replace your front window sweep set. On this Dodge Ram, you will have four of these two mounted to each of your front doors. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To start removing the window sweep, we'll start on the outward corner right here and carefully lift up on it. If you find that it's stuck, you can use a window sweep removal tool. For us personally, I can just lift right up on this. It's fairly simple. We'll give this a wiggle and carefully slide it out of this area. There it is, friends. Now that we have that off of there, let's continue on to cleaning and inspecting the door where the brand new window seal will go. All right, let's get ready for the installation. Before we do so, you just want to have a quick look at the back side. Along each side of it, you'll find that you have a small notched cutout. One side's a little larger than the other. For the driver's side, you want to make sure you have the sweep with a smaller cutout facing towards the front. Once you've confirmed you have the proper window sweep, we'll be taking the forward side, sliding it down along the rail here and underneath that mirror. Press it in as far as you can. We'll continue on by pressing it down all the way towards the rear of the door. Just put that right inside of there. Double check to make sure it's completely secure. Let's get started removing the inside door panel. To do that, we'll make our way right up inside here. You'll find that you have two Phillips head screws. Remove the pair. Take hold of that grab handle, give it a little wiggle, and we're gonna lift it up and out of here. There should be a couple little tabs coming across the front that hold it in place. Now we can move down to our inside door handle. For this, you'll find that you have a 10 millimeter headed bolt. In some cases, it might even be a Phillips head. Once you have that nice and loose, you can remove the bolt with the handle at the same time. Now we can make our way to that window crank handle. To remove the crank handle from this area, you'll find that in between this plastic washer area and the crank handle, there's a small metal clip. We'll be using an angled pick to remove that clip. Just make our way in here. Pop this out of place. There's our clip. Now we can remove the crank handle. At this point, we'll just have a look at the back side here. We can remove these two pieces. With that out of the way, we'll continue on to our one Phillips head screw up in this corner. At this point, we'll continue on with a trim tool. We're going to start getting in between the door panel and the door itself and gently separate it. There we are. Now up near the mirror switch, we have to make sure that we disconnect that wiring harness. We'll grab onto this electrical connector right where my index finger is, there's a small squeeze tab. Go ahead and squeeze that in and disconnect that. We'll give it a quick inspection and we can set this aside. Now with that door panel out of the way, we can remove the inside window sweep. You can carefully grab onto that and lift it up. If you can't lift it up, you can use a trim tool and just gently pry it up and away. We'll give it a close inspection and we can set this aside. Let's get ready for the installation of our brand new window sweep. Make sure you have it in the proper orientation. So you have the hooked area facing towards you or inside of the vehicle. Looking at the back side of this, you will have the felted area. That should be directly up against the window. Let's start putting this in position. Make 
make sure we have it properly aligned. Double check all the way across. Now we can install the door panel. You'll find on the inside all the way around, you have several of these push clips. They need to align with the corresponding holes on the door. Let's start putting this in position and reconnect our wiring harness. Now we'll bring this up nice and high, paying attention to our door lock. At this point, we'll make sure that all those push pins are latched in properly. With that in place, let's put in our upper mounting screw. Let's install that grab handle. We have our two Phillips head screws. All right, let's get ready for the installation of our door handle. You'll find that we have a Phillips head bolt on this. We'll take this, get it aligned in the proper position and tighten it up. There's where it's bottomed out. Just make sure it's nice and snug. The next thing you want to do is just make sure you test its functionality. Let's install that window crank handle. For this, you want to make sure that you have the plastic buffer facing in the proper direction. So the concave area is facing towards the crank handle. Now we can take this, we'll slide it on here and then press this into position. All right, now let's just test its functionality. Perfect, thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.